your favorite thing that's happened in space this week? Oh, we're doing a one-off weekly space hangout? Yes. I didn't know. Hold on. It's <laughs> not fair. So since we missed the weekly space hangout, what we is did. the most interesting thing going on in space this week? What do you think? I didn't have to say it's out there in the rain. In the rain? Um, and I will show you, I will embiggen in this. Hopefully Keely will notice one of them right. embiggen right there. We'll go outside and get some more video. So that's, that's our neighbor. <laughs> that's our neighbor, right outside. Oh no, you there. can't cheat! I have to totally cheat. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. What's the coolest thing going on in space this week? In space this week? Yeah. This, yep. South by Southwest. This telescope, being here. Yeah. Being here, that's cool. Excellent. <laughs> um, Pamela and Fraser being in the same room together. That almost never happens. Yes. So that's fun. And everyone's all together. I like that. Yay! I'm trying to think what's the big thing. Uh, the problems with Curiosity, with the uh, with the solar storm that's come, and actually they've taken they've taken Curiosity offline to be able to protect it against an upcoming solar storm. That was interesting. Um, I'm trying to think what else is interesting this week. Other than this, obviously. Other than this, this is all we've been thinking about. Yeah, I'm coming out of my my introvert shell. Surprise, noisy strong is introvert. Yeah. And and quiet. Matt mobbing people with science, so we're, we're running around with our citizen science apps, uh, getting people to do research. And so many people are like, well I do, yeah I'll do research, that's cool. So we are, we are raking it in, I'm excited. Breaking in the crater counts. Breaking in the crater counts. <laughs> yeah. Wow, some Chinese debris collided with a uh, Russian satellite. Fraser Kane reading the headlines. From his own website. This just happened. From his own website. <laughs> Russell Crowe's UFO. Yeah, that's we don't, awesome. No, not well, awesome. we did a takedown on it. So. Oh, good. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, we didn't report on Russell Crowe's UFO as legit. We very quickly <laughs> broke it apart. Excellent. So, okay. so I have to admit, I am totally addicted to following all the news on Comet 2013 A1 Siding Springs. This is a comet that is currently estimated to be in October 2014 getting within 40,000 kilometers plus or minus the distance to the surface of Mars of Mars. It could collide. It probably won't. But what's awesome is the NASA MAVEN mission, which studies the atmosphere of Mars, will get to Mars right before, assuming it launches well and everything else, will get to Mars right before the comet. This means that there's going to be a probe designed to sample the atmosphere there when they probably have one heck of an amazing ice particle shower instead of a meteor shower to look the same. And assuming curiosity is going strong and opportunity is still alive, they may be able to catch this amazing meteor shower from the surface of Mars. And if the comet does hit, it's about 30 miles across, and we'll, sorry, about 30 kilometers across, and will create a crater roughly 100 kilometers across, throwing debris into orbit around Mars. Wow. All kinds of awesome possible destruction. Not a good day for Martians, but a good day for us, for scientists. Yes, <laughs> yes. hit Mars, not us. Yes. <laughs>